Welcome to Hydraulic Press channel. Hi. I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And our scientists have been working hard on new breakthrough, complete new way of crushing ball bearings. <laughs> and today we are ready to represent that new method for you. It's called Vohensilta method. <laughs> From now on. And unfortunately, uh, when we started to do the video, we realized that all of our tools are fucked up. So the first step towards scientific breakthroughs was to fix up the tools. And since the tools for the big press are quite large, I thought that I'm going to use the old broken tool as a frame for the new tool. And first I wanted to drill a hole in the middle. I tried first with the drill, it went almost completely through. The damage bit on the end was too hard for it. So I used the tungsten carbide bit to remove that. And after I have removed all the damage, hardened stuff, I have the hole completely through. And now there is enough room for my tungsten tool bit and holder for that. So I can turn the hole bigger. You have to always first start with the hole, so you can use this tool after that. And the uh, tungsten carbide tool bits, these don't need the coolant. They can take the heat because tungsten, my favorite material. But uh, if this is really hot when you are ready, then it's going to shrink down when it cools. So I'm going to cool it down slightly before the uh, last cuts. This is like a bit unnecessary here, but I just wanted to show it. This is not like precise work. And now we have five millimeters left. So I'm going to take two and a half millimeter, then measure it, and then take the exactly same cut again. Because especially long tool like this is going to flex, and the amount of the flex is dependent on how much material you are removing. So the two cuts, last two cuts, have to be exactly the same if you want to be any, if you want to get like any precision at all. Okay, now we have the old tool and the new middle part for that. And now we have to do this fine mechanical installation procedure. That was pretty yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, our YouTube press over there in the bunker, it's uh, meant to destroy things. This is like, it's not like fine mechanical, mm -hmm. it's not a Swiss watch, but uh, it doesn't need to be destroyed. So we are going to use our regular workshop press, which is the uh, 150 ton machine over there. I think it takes like maybe 35 tons or something okay. like that. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh. Oh. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Okay, it gets harder. Ah. Oh. What? Uh oh. Uh. I think now it's ready. That was exciting. Okay, it was completely unnecessary tight. <laughs> oh oh. Oh, oh. What's that? <laughs> he fucked up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, my old lathe, it's a bit, ah. yeah, it doesn't do straight. So it was uh, like, like way tighter on this end. And we are pushing some, <laughs> pushing some steel in front of that. Well. Yeah, well, I think that, it doesn't matter. That, no, it's, it doesn't it's fine. Matter. That happened. Yeah. And now we are ready to machine this to be nice. Mm. Nice colors on the savings. Yeah. When it's blue, you know that you're going fast. Mm. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Uh, I was waiting for Hanna to get the camera for the last cut. Uh, I stopped the feed and let it rest there. And look how hot it gets. Yeah. But Whoa. it's going to be, I'm going to finish this 
And then we're going to add some water to cool it down. Maybe we even harden it slightly with all the heat. Okay, that feels really hard. I think it's slightly work hardening it during the process. We don't even need the end, I'm going to saw it off. Yeah, and I'm going to smooth this up with the grinder. And this would be chilly on times easier with the CNC lathe. But I don't have one. Because with the CNC you could do it like chip, 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 and then the last one like. But not with this. This looks like a terrible idea. And to be honest, uh, this wasn't like a very good craftsmanship from my part today. I was just trying to be fast. But uh, sometimes it's just like, does it matter? Because uh, this is going to do what it's meant to be doing. So mm. it's good enough. I think like everything here is just barely good enough. Including me. Including this channel. In, yeah, including all the all the channel. <laughs> only thing, only like bright spot on middle of all this is Hanna. <laughs> okay, we are finally ready. This goes here. That goes there. This goes down. That there, that there looks go. like it looks wrong. Mm. Uh, only thing that is sure is that this tool is going to be broken on the end of the video. And if you are planning to buy a big ass hydraulic press, a uh, normal 300 ton profit press, you can use it also on smaller work because it has also a hand pump with the electric motor. So if you are like doing like small stuff with 10 ton press and then like big stuff with 300 toner, you don't have to buy two machines. This can be also very accurate if it's like not the YouTube edition but normal workshop press with also the hand pump. Okay, we have some cameras. We have two Sonys here, lab assistant there, press is ready, close the door. Then uh, I finally bought good lens for my 4K camera. So we have tight high speed with the full HD and then wide shot with the 4K. So we, like we see the detail, this runs 2000 and this runs 1000. So we see details and where everything lands from here. Okay. Whew. Let's hope that it explodes. Here it goes. Okay. I think it worked. It's 40 tons right now. <laughs> oh my god! Look! Oh, it has a shrapnel, our assistant. Okay, I think that wasn't super bad. Okay. There isn't any deep... Okay, no, it's just like grease. There isn't any deep scratches. Okay. Let's see, can we get that out from there? Mm. I go get a hammer. But the concept clearly works. Yeah. That's the main thing. This is like really hard steel. It was really hard to machine. And it's already like all fucked up. Okay, then the pressure bearing. Mm. Will it go? Let's see. Let's. I'm not sure will it explode. Mm. What do you think? I think it's going to go. Mm -hmm. If it goes, this is going to be one of the most dangerous mm -hmm. things ever. Here it goes. I think that was surprisingly easy. Mm. Let's go have a look, did we break anything? Okay, but I have a new idea. We exploded one of these. Mm. 
Ir paskvadīsi. Pat lūkā tisšit. So I'm going to put this bottom and this here. And now we are working against this. That's Holy really... Holy squats more. Oh, it, oh, that's, it's not, okay. that's terrifying. Okay, I changed my mind. This here looks something. But that... Ooh. This is like it's meant to be. Yeah. It's like explosive here and then like ready-made yeah. shrapnel yeah. around. It's like grenade for the press. Ooh, that's terrible. Yeah, I have to get some tooling there. I think I start to believe on this concept. Mm -hmm. I was worried that we can explode this well, but I think this is this is like this is going to work so nicely now. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! That was a lot. I think this might work better with the extra shrapnel. I think the uh, ring itself is going to fly faster out than the balls. Mm, maybe. maybe. I lift the press and let's, let's do some hammering work. I have another of these also, exactly the same size. The tool is quite okay. Yeah, I think we can do the second one also. Mm. But uh, let's see what the, what the rollers did. Eh? And one thing about the rollers is that they are not sharp. Mm. Good shrapnel is sharp. Okay, they fly fast. <laughs> oh. it, it works just like, yeah. it's like almost like planned to do this. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. Wow, that's very nice uh, frame there when they are just left. Yeah. Left the building. Let's, let's see how did they like fly after that. <laughs> One comes uh, here towards the camera. I think they are like everywhere. Interesting to see where they close to the back. Yeah. And that one, yeah. Yeah, it's raining steel. Okay, that's nice. Then I'm going to pop this one also open. Yep. Okay. It's like this. Ah. That's why it didn't come off. But this is surely going to explode. Mm -hmm. With every crust, I feel that this is the most dangerous thing that we have ever done. And I feel it again. Mm, it's like... Feeling. It's it's bad feeling when it's like... The shrapnel is coming here. Mm. Like, if it goes like plane of death, it, it, it comes straight here, mm. but... <coughs> we have the bulletproof everything there, so it's not a problem in theory, but it still feels a bit bad. Okay. Whoa, what? What the? What? Did you see that? There is coming like dust from the roof. Yeah, yeah, it's the acoustic panels. Oh my god! Oh, there is a lot of holes. Yeah, that was the... Yeah, there is another one. I think we were uh, quite lucky. Oh my, oh my, oh, oh. my, oh my god! Oh, it was... Oh, went... oh. Oh. That's, that's probably deadly. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, look at these! Holy shit! Oh. We have to put a wear plate here. Yeah. Okay, now now the high speed. Oh, holy shit! That, I'm so excited. That was that was that was quite a blast. Oh, it takes forever. 
it really takes forever. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, oh no. my god, that's so fast. Oh, look at the head. Oh, I think safety classes wouldn't help here. No, <laughs> he's quite confused after that. Like, yeah. oh. This is his second time on the channel's history when the high speed looks more like gun channel. Yeah. Than press channel. I think it's hard to see them here. It's better on the computer, but you probably see like the shrapnel on the back wall and everything. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a the press jumps a lot yeah. also. And if we wait a little bit more, I think we can see that. Yeah, here comes yeah. the like <laughs> acoustic panel raining. <laughs> that looks quite quite cinematic. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a nice look. <laughs> so is there a, some yeah, the yeah. metal piece? <laughs> Why it landed on the table? Yeah. Where did it came from? I have no I idea. Know. I think there is a lot of new holes on the pump yeah. there. Yeah, I think this new 35mm lens is great for the 4K. You see a lot of like good shrapnel stuff where things fly like a bit farther away from the action. Uh, I have to still do some testing with the best setups. I think it's if it's completely open the picture is a bit too soft so maybe f2 or something like that is great yeah but that is all for today thank you for watching and have a nice day